Remember, remember the 5th of November. Voila! In view, a humble Vaudevillian veteran cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the Vox Populi, now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified and is vowed to vanquish these venal and virulent vermin vanguarding vice and vow shaping the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. The only verdict is vengeance, a vendetta. Held as a votive not in vain for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. Verily, this vicious wah verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me Spectre. And welcome to my show. Do I have everybody's attention now? <laughs> Let me guess, deja vu, we've been here before. Uh, yeah, we have been. Five years to the day. <laughs> a very young shadow did a video that started exactly like that. I mean, maybe not exactly. The, the jump scare's different, but everything else, every detail, is the same. <laughs> I even went as far as to go back and play Welcome to the Rapture, or whatever it's called. That's not the name, but, you know, doing this in one take is always going to be a problem. But, uh, yeah, playing that game after the pandemic is haunting in ways I can't explain. But, you know, someday maybe I'll do a deep dive on it. <laughs> Not really that kind of YouTuber, but hey, anything's on the table now. I'm starting fresh. <laughs> How about all of this? Yeah, I couldn't leave you without an annual November 5th episode. And yeah, I guess after what I said last year about this being a tradition, even greater than the traditional Halloween episode, which has now been skipped two years in a row, so <laughs> don't think I forgot about that. I, uh, I just couldn't muster the energy. You know, couldn't find that thing inside of myself that I needed to do a video on Halloween, yet I felt obligated to do a November 5th episode. Felt obligated because even when my life was falling apart all around me last year, I did one still. And this year has been better for me. Everything's looking up for the Spectermeister, which doesn't have nearly the kind of uh, oomph as I thought it would. Oops. <laughs> but, you know, big change from the last time I did a video like this. If you watch my November 5th episode from oh, five years ago, what year would that have been? It wouldn't have been 2016. It would have been a long-ass time ago. But taking that into account, five years ago on this day, I was not the same guy that I am right now. I was a very... Oh, what's the word? Unconfident guy. Especially when it came to speaking. When it came to YouTube, I was under a lot of stress just to sort of sort things out. And now, all this time later, after everything has been said and done, now is different. I'm the shadow I wish I could have been five years ago. <laughs> Can't you imagine that? After everything I've been through. 
After all the hardships, the ups and downs, the one thing that improved was my confidence. The one thing. And that surprises me because when I was with a certain somebody, I didn't have that. I let my confidence wane. I let it dissipate. I let it disappear. I let fear guide my actions. I let it control me. So when I say a lot has changed, a lot has. For better. And I would want to add for worse there, but there's no downsides here. Going through heartbreak Losing something important to you just lit a fire in me to be better, to do better. And to those I might be spiting in doing so, feels good. It feels good to know that I'm better than how they left me. last year said today is about memory <laughs> last year I was suffering so if there's anything that I'd like to remember it's about that pain that pain and what it made me when I found my voice when I decided I wasn't gonna take it anymore because over the last 11 months of 2022, I've remembered who I was. I found it, that voice inside of me that's screaming to take control. <laughs> no one said that I don't need to scream. I don't need to shout, I don't need to yell to make these videos mean something. And I don't. I don't have to shout. I don't have to scream. If you want to understand what I'm saying, you will hear me. And if you don't, you won't. That's just how it is. Maybe I should have taken that advice years ago when I realized my voice wasn't being heard. When I realized my reality was being ignored, it was being doubted and patronized. But that's all over now. All of that is over now. I'm better than how you left me. <laughs> it was once said in a song, when I'm away from you, I'm happier than ever. <laughs> oh man that's right that's how I feel because I was unhappy for a very long time and sure maybe that depression kicks in when I think about you when I think about what you meant to me But it will fade. It will fade. In a few years time, I'll forget I even liked being around you. And in a few years after that, I'll forget your name.
It's like the words say in the song. Don't you forget about me. Because, you know, memory is the most important part. If I forget you, were you even real? Was any of it ever real? <laughs> A bunch of forget-me-nots and remember remembers. Well, the 5th of November has come once again. And your memory is fading day by day. And someday I'll forget you exist. That is my gift to you. Ciao. Au revoir.